Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 60, 60, 62 of Let's Build Minecraft. I have done a little bit of work off camera. As you can see, actually, I've done some, I've done something cool. I think you guys are going to like it, but uh, it's, it's not a build, but let me show you what I have built. I, I finished off this wall, so it goes over this way. Um, hello, frames. And uh, nothing new or fancy to it. The thing that I do kind of like is that I brought it over here and it connects up with with uh, this wall. So I, there will be a door here. And also last episode I was talking about how we just kind of need to sit on this. Just let it be for a little while. Wasn't sure if I liked it or not. Well, I came back a few days later and I realized one of the things I didn't like, I did not like this post being one block out from where it was. So I moved it back one block and I like it more now. Um, I almost don't want that one back though. I'll worry about that later. But anyways, so I've also uh, laid out a little bit. Hello, frames. I got something open. I got a lot of stuff open in my background because I I don't plan on recording very long for this, for this uh, quick section right here. Um, but I've, I've started a tower. I've got some ideas for this, but, um, just a circle for now. But what I wanted to show you, and I'm going to go into creative for this. Um, I thought it would be cool. So this is a, an orc stronghold. I thought it would be really cool if we could have like it dark inside. So this is enemy territory. So what if... So so the idea is that there's going to be some sort of infiltration, some way to get into it. Let's say you get into it and you get into the building and it's dark and there's zombies and stuff. I think that would be really cool. But I was like, well, zombies. I wish that we could put orcs in it. But this is vanilla Minecraft. We can't really do that. And then I realized that we can. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a zombie egg. Uh, this one. Now this isn't final yet, but it's also uh, light outside. So let's place them under this bridge here. Look at that! An orc. Now I've I've got to I've got to touch it up a little bit. This is just a texture pack, uh, a, an edited texture. Dude, no, don't. Wait, what? Oh, oh, there we go. Let's actually go in here. Uh, you'll you'll be safe in here, dude. Um, I didn't want a little guy. Oh, well, that's good to know. Apparently, the teeth texture. Oh, well, you know, I'm actually okay with that. The big jaw um, of this guy and the teeth didn't carry over onto the little guy, but that kind of makes sense, right? They don't, they're not old enough to have that big jaw and those big teeth. They just have a big mouth. Um, I need to carry over this jaw onto the sides, it looks like. I don't like that. Um, this is just a very rough, very quick edit. Um, I probably need to redo his clothes to some extent. Uh, give him maybe horns or something. Probably ears could look good. Some sort of armor would look really good. But this way, um, and let me just get rid of that because that is not vanilla at all. <laughs> this way, we can come into this place. We go inside. And it's just covered with orcs that actually want to kill you, right? That's, I think it's pretty cool. So that marks the first texture that we have edited for this, for this series. Um, I, I've talked like a long time ago about how I wanted to edit a few textures of my own. I wouldn't mind redoing these. I wouldn't mind darkening up birch. So maybe this is a step in that direction. We can start doing that because I didn't know how to edit texture packs. And now I do. And it's not that hard. So uh, maybe we can start playing around with that a little bit more. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and work on this off camera a bit. Um, a lot of I don't know what I'm going to do. So I, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, uh, I've done I've done some work. Probably a pretty quick episode today because I'm happy with the amount of work that I've gotten done. 
and hello, hello, the leaf. Uh, between real work and YouTubing today, I've been working for like 12 hours. I still have to edit this video and get it up. But um, I'm happy with... Why am I cutting this? I don't, I don't want this. I'm happy with the amount of work that I've done. Uh, the tower that I just built might very well be... I'm trying not to show it. <laughs> I just kind of did, though. May very well be... Well, there it is. <laughs> uh, the most heavily detailed uh, structure that we've built in this world, especially in survival, um, you know, taking into account some of my creative builds. But here it is, and it's... Let me close this door. It's quite a bit more uh, complex than I was originally planning. In fact, it doesn't look anything like what I was planning. Um, I wanted a, a fairly boring... Well, now that I think about it, it was kind of boring, my idea before. A pretty plain, basic tower. And I was like, you know, if people wanted to watch someone build a plain tower... And go watch someone else, cause I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you guys can watch me build some cool stuff. So this is like very busy for me, um, and I like it. I do like it. I would like to do more towers taller, cause of how wide it is. It doesn't feel that tall, but um. If you actually get up here, and I don't have an interior in there, so I can't really show you. But once you actually get up here, uh, well, this would be the second floor. Um, it's actually a pretty decent ways up. I You can see everywhere from up here. So it's as tall as it needs to be. So with for that concern doesn't really um, make much sense. The... The colors are good. Let's get into creative and then look around. So yeah, I ended up using a lot more wood than I originally planned. I plan on this being like a stone stronghold kind of, but because that fits orcs. But our story is kind of taken a turn to to be like this is an overtaken stronghold or in, somewhat in ruins. This tower really doesn't look like it's in ruins. This is supposed to look like washed out red roof though. But, um, and then, and then I guess this is like worn down wall. But other than that, it doesn't look that like old or anything. So, uh, a couple notes on, on what I actually built here. Um, it has some varying, uh, depth here, especially at the bottom. It comes out, it goes in. Um, it goes in around here, comes back out, and then a very rounded roof. And then I'll probably, probably put a flag here, um, maybe like a tattered flag if I could figure out how to do that. That would look pretty cool. Um, how I actually figured out how to do it, uh, especially since it really wasn't in my head at all like this, um, I just, I really started with this corner right here, and I I got this detail right here, and then went and copied it um, to each side. Don't do it, like, all four sides at once if you do something like this, because uh, if you decide that you don't like something, then you're going to have to change it on all four sides. There's a lot of back and forth on this. But I, I think I added with these logs right here because this wall was like kind of flat. Um, so I added that. Um, I ended up knocking this back because this used to be uh, where these walls are and this wood used to be stone. I ended up knocking that back, um, adding in pillars. Uh, finding your roof line helps a lot. Um, it's really just, you know, it's it's hard to really teach how you do this because um, it's, it's just like a lot of little details that you have to have up your sleeve and I just kind of threw them in there and found a combination I liked. And, and like I said, this is pretty busy for me 
And then this right here, the second floor is less busy and a lot more uh, my style, I think. Um, not too crazy for me at all. And then the roof, I didn't want to make a pointed roof. And because po pointed roofs, done that over and over. Um, that being said, I try to make it as round as possible. You can use, uh, you know, tools online to figure out the uh, an actual sphere. I just winged it. I, I've made quite a few of these. Um, I've been told that I'm pretty good at it. Just, uh, I, I, I laid down like the bottom layer of circles and then I copied that exact circle, um, in the middles here. And then I filled in from there. I, I've been told I'm pretty good at that as, as, I don't know, either you get it or you don't. And then I just kind of threw in some wood into the roof just to give it some interest down here it hello words. <laughs> Down here, it doesn't make a whole lot of uh, difference. Like, you can't even see the ones on the top, really. Um, but, you know, we do fly around a little bit to look at everything. But, yeah, this side's not done because I think the wall's actually going to meet up with that side. And then that will provide a tie-in with the tower and the wall. Um, this wall might get removed to have a wall coming out this way. Um, because we have a fairly large courtyard area right here. Uh, we don't need it to be much bigger, so a wall will definitely come in there. Anyways, that's mostly it for today. We got those orcs I'm really happy about. Um, still, still got to touch up the texture. That was, that was like, um, just me learning how to do the textures and then trying to make an orc out of it whether it looked nice or not, and I accomplished that, and it doesn't even look that bad, but I'll probably go back and touch it up. And then this, which um, honestly took me like four hours to build. So uh, if you like it, if you want to see more of it, let me know. Um, this project's probably going to take quite a while. Well, a lot of, a while for me. I'm going to have to invest a lot of off-camera work, more than usual, more than I have in the past, to get this done at a reasonable pace. Um, I, I'm thinking like three towers on this hill. Um, and if they take as long as that one, uh, maybe a little bit shorter because I know the style now, you know, like 10 hours worth of work. Um, eh, not, it's not horrible. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching episode 62 of Let's Build Minecraft. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.